parts that are are worth preserving. But 1.35 million acres, bigger than the state of Delaware? Are you kidding me? It's one of the biggest land grabs in the history of the United States. And it was done, this midnight monument, in the waning hours of the Obama administration. I just hope and pray that Donald Trump, the president-elect himself, on day one will take this thing down. It's just so fundamentally, fundamentally flawed at every, every level. They used the wrong picture. And that got some blowback, not only from uh, Congressman Chaffetz there, but others. Um, Chaffetz said something to the effect of, White House pick is arches, not monuments. Couldn't find a pick of bears ears and doesn't even know where it is. Hashtag worst president ever. Thanks. Look, this is a president acting. There's now half a dozen things in a unilateral way at the end of a presidency when he's no longer accountable. This is about as anti-democratic as you can get. You, ran, you were in office for eight years, you ran twice, you got your mandates, and on all of these issues, you could go back to the settlement um, the vote, you can go back to the Arctic, shutting the Arctic okay. and the Atlantic, uh, Guantanamo, re re releasing the next to last handful. He's doing all these things that have been explicitly rejected by his own party, and that he doesn't have the courage of his own convictions, getting them done to lock in his successor. It's very anti-democratic. I don't know about the, the merits of the case. I would imagine that have, allowing mixed use and some exploration would be a good thing for the country. But Obama sees himself as the god hovering over the country, dispensing goodies uh, to the extent that he's got control. And he figures, I've got control here. No one can stop me. And maybe it'll be somewhat irascible. But there is no theory of constitutional governance that empowers one man to just unilaterally take this land without so much as a congressional vote. And it reminds you of what the attorneys general have done in the case of the EPA with the land grab, the waters of the United States rule, where essentially the, 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 the feds are taking control of a pond left behind by a rainfall. And what it does is it's kind of liberal overreach, starting with EPA, Obamacare, you can look anywhere you want. It's created a backlash that has now been growing. And I think in the end it can undo more than just what Obama did. I think it can sort of roll back the, the loopholes that have been used by liberals, environmentalists, and others to get outcomes that were never intended in legislation and that have been sort of seized by the executive. I think that this could be a real opportunity to undo a lot of the damage, not just done in the Obama years, but for the last 50, 100 years. Mm -hmm.